Hello and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. I'm Ava Vig here at the 2017 SPE ICOTA conference in Houston. I'm here with Kevin Elliott, product engineering manager at NOV. He gave a presentation this morning about coiled tubing with 140 KSI minimum yield strength. So Kevin, what are the mechanical properties that you tried to achieve with CT140? Excellent question. We were aiming for 140 KSI minimum yield strength uh, with really kind of an upper range of 150 KSI. Uh, the minimum ultimate tensile strength obviously has to be higher than that, 145 KSI minimum ultimate tensile strength. What are the challenges to deploying CT140 in the field? Given the strength level, the hardness is elevated and that causes our, uh, our customers and, and their customers, the operators, some concerns over being able to actually grip the coil tubing and put it into a well and back out of a well with an injector. Thankfully, we've actually been making CT140 in some way or shape or form for quite a while. The CT130 in many cases had parts that were CT140. So that tells us that not only have we done some testing to make sure that it could be put in and out of a well, but also we've got some field history behind it even before we start. Can you describe the fatigue life of the CT140 compared to CT130? We did a lot of testing on CT130 over the last seven years, uh, so something like 200 tests, and that became the basis for models that are uh, both proprietary by some of the service companies and some that are uh, commercially available. In, in fact, actually, our assumption is that the 140 is going to have at least the yield strength of the 130, but when we reviewed the 130 data, about a third of the samples were actually 140 anyway. So we're quite confident that we're achieving at least the minimum if uh, our customers started operating 140 today, and uh, over time we'll probably refresh the model and make new so they can hopefully achieve better economics. How does the CT140 perform in a sour gas environment and what testing was done for this? The CT140 represents some challenges in sour gas, obviously. At that strength level, it can be subject to environmental cracking. So we did some testing to prove that, at least with inhibition, we would be safe. Uh, the inhibition tests covered uh, both sulfide stress cracking and hydrogen-induced cracking. That's kind of like a statically loaded test. We just wanted to make sure that the tubing wouldn't catastrophically fail with no warning. Once we, we passed that, then we went back and, and looked at, well, what would happen to low cycle fatigue life? Would we see a decrease in low cycle fatigue life after it had been exposed, also with inhibition? Thankfully, that testing yielded results that tell us that probably not. If it's properly inhibited, you're safe. You won't have any problems with environmental cracking. You won't have any problems with low cycle fatigue life. And what is the business case for the CT140? It's really building on what we already have. We already have the 130 and we're fairly certain with what equipment already exists and what steel grades already exist, we can manipulate mechanical properties to get up another level. So creating a business case for us, one, we did have to do it, but the downside risk wasn't as great. We had to verify that someone would want it. So we looked at primarily the offshore industry who want to go to very high pressures and very long strings. We looked at 20,000 PSI as really the target. We're being asked, could we make strings capable of holding 20,000 PSI that are just about 40,000 feet long? Our quick first pass told us that yes, even in inch and three quarter and two inch, we could probably start achieving those types of levels. Right off the bat, that was enough for us to get started. But when we started talking to the onshore market, it looked even better. <laughs> they probably want that sort of thing, really more for a safety factor. They're probably not going to go to 20,000 PSI, but they might go as high as 15, 16. So business case certainly looks good for us, and downside risk was very low. Well, thank you, Kevin, for joining us today. Thank you very much, Ava. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.